So we've had Shaq on the program. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's also available on podcasts, one like Shaq's podcast and like this man's podcast, uh, Straight Talk with Ross Matthews, now right here on The Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Ross? Hi, good to see you. Good to see you. What a big deal for you that you got me as a guest. This is huge. Ross, <laughs> you were supposed to come in You were supposed to come in a few weeks ago and I, something happened. I and got we're called like, away from work. Listen, you're yeah. a working man. You're, you're, you're a working stiff here in this country. And, yes. and we understood. Thank so we you. said we had to rebook you right away. Well, listen, I, thanks for understanding. And I'm so happy to be here. This, You guys are my people, all yeah. right? Look, we got a married guy over there, a yep. single guy yes. who we're, I'm going to hook up with. I, I'm going to find a girl for him. Okay. All right? And I was told you backstage, I'm texting all my straight guy friends. They're all dorking out that I'm here. <laughs> all of them say hi. So, hi. So, uh, from the straights. What, what are they, how, how are from they, the straights. how are they, how are they dorking out? How are they dorking out? They're dorking out because they love you. I mean, listen, I, I have a bunch of straight guy friends that I do, we watch football football together because I'm a big football fan. I know okay. we'll get to that. And yes. I try to hook them up with uh, girls. I'm I'm a really good wingman. If you're single and you want to yeah. go out, I'm good because the girls flock to me and then I sort of introduce them. Now, All right? Brockman, let's do it. What are Can we doing we... for the Cavs game tonight? I'm in, I'm in. <laughs> uh, well, a Cavs I... game, is that a thing? <laughs> <laughs> in Ohio. In Ohio. No, we, uh, what about United Passions, the movie, uh, the FIFA movie that you said you were going to go to last night and then didn't? Yeah, I didn't go. I got, I got some weird tweets about people wanting to meet up, and I didn't feel safe. What do you mean? Because we said you were going to go out to... Yeah, I was going to go. Some guy wanted to drive Lam for The Lamely Theater, right? Is that what you... I don't know the name of the theater. Okay. Yeah. Lamely? I also had other things to take care of. I'm going out of town tomorrow, so I, you mm. know, I didn't have time to This go. is why you're single, right? You're always too busy. There's always, always an right? excuse, Ross. Always an no, excuse. No, no, no. Yeah. Don't want to get too close, because I got a thing to Commit do. Commitment, folks. Yes. Right there. Ding, ding, Number ding. Number one. Number one. Yeah, I gotta break I'm you. I'm like, one I'm thing like, in my life, Rich. Mm. That's, that's, his, that's his program. Whatever. I'm like Robert Redford in the Horse Whisperer, but I'm like the straight guy whisperer. I can break you. <laughs> <laughs> Which is good, because then I'll find a good girl for him, and I'll, I'll yeah. make your life. I'll make your life for you. Okay. Wait till the radio audience okay. returns and gets a load of this conversation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we should just repeat it. Yeah, wait. Yeah, we should. Let's do a cut and paste. Uh, Ross Matthews is here in the yeah. Rich Eisen Show studio. Back in the morning. <laughs> Welcome back to the Rich Eisen Show. He was introduced to the American viewing public uh, thanks to Jay Leno at the Tonight Show with Jay Leno. Also seen this man's work on Chelsea Lately, the E! Channel, and listening to Straight Talk on the Podcast One network that this show and also Shaquille O'Neal's show is on. We have so much in common. We do Straight Talk with Ross Matthews uh, on Podcast One. Ross, good to see you here good on the program in person. Good to see you as well. Hi, everybody. Good Hi. To, it's good to see you here. Now, we are wearing the same sweater. We need, yeah. to, we need to coordinate this Twinsies, a little bit Twinsies, like looking in a mirror. We didn't even coordinate, but look, it's just one of those magic moments. It's definitely not looking in the mirror. You have way more hair than I have. Oh, Ross. stop it. It's like you've got some, a flowing mane That's compared good, to though. Mine. you got to tame it, though. I'm going gray, though like you, but you're natural. I like that. That's it. I can't, that, it, it, it is what it is. I can't do anything you about You never this. dyed it? Never well, once? No, no, I've never dyed it, and I did, I gotta be honest with you, just in, in somewhat recent days, not uh, within the last calendar year, I just decided at age 45 to see what I could do about the thinning stuff up top. You mean like a transplant or something? Yeah, you know, just to see if there's anything that could be done. You don't need to. It's like your thing now. I mean, this is how we like you. Well, We is... like you just the way you Thank are. Thank you, Ross. You're but and, but it, 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 it was a quick uh, FaceTime with a doctor. Oh, really? Yeah, the FaceTime. And this I is breaking news. Yeah, I know. Wait, I what was this? Look, look, look what I pulled out I don't of know. You're yeah. welcome, an exclusive. I FaceTimed with the doctor. <laughs> I don't believe I'm telling this yeah, story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I FaceTimed with the doctor. It, you know, the, you know that noise like vroom, you yeah. know, the FaceTime starts. Doctor looks at me and goes, oh, God. What? <laughs> <laughs> Was it LeBron's uh, doctor? You're the worst case no, he's ever seen? No, he just goes, oh, God. Yeah, he goes, you know, it might take a few days and it'll look like a sunburn for two. And I'm just like, you know, at that point in time, you just got to go, go with what brought you. Suddenly, if all of a sudden we turn on and you've got a full head of hair, it's just going to be weird. Don't and you think? Yes. You've already said, you know, we like you like this. Stay how Thank you are. Thank you. Okay. Right? I appreciate it. That's the straight talk that we I'm just giving to you right straight. There. Just right there. And that's what we do on, you know, Straight Talk with Ross is my podcast. We started 30 weeks ago. And it's like Dr. Laura, but higher pitched. It's advice. <laughs> and 
uh, and LOLs from the gay best friend you wish you had and know you need. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hook you up. I'm gonna hook you up Brockman. with someone. I, we do a lot of relationship talk. I'm. I always hook my straight guy friends up with girls because I'm. You know, I, I've said this before. I'm good to have. Right. If you're a straight guy, the girls like me. Now you're you're from the Pacific Northwest, yes. the pride of Mount Vernon, Washington. Yeah, I have the key to the city. No big D. Do you? Do you really? Do? <laughs> I really do. Yeah, I do. What does that get you? Where do you get in? I don't know. <laughs> Nothing yet. <laughs> like the Chipotle, you get into the local. How dare we? Don't even have a Chipotle yet. Okay. <laughs> One day though. <laughs> so you were at the Seahawks game. Yes. Yeah, so you One know, okay, day. I, I grew up. Yes. Being a big Seahawks fan because my my dad and my brother were football fans and it was like the one way you know I could communicate with them. So mm -hmm. from birth, I'm a football a Seahawk fan. Not a fair weather fan. We've never been good until now, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I it's like the best time to be a Seahawks fan ever. So I go up to the NFC National Championship. Mm -hmm. The first time they went to the Super Bowl, well, not the first time they went to the Super Bowl, but this this um, this past or two years ago, two years ago, okay. yeah, yeah, with right. Russell and, and and Pete. Anyway, so I'm on the sidelines there, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. uh, for the game. Big deal. Up walks John uh, Ryan, yes, the, the punter. punter, yeah, number nine. And he goes, hey, Ross, I love you. Will you hook me up with Sarah Colonna, who's a comic on Chelsea Lately with me, right? And I said, uh, I need you to do me a favor and win this game. And if you do, <laughs> mm -hmm. I will hook you up with Sarah Colonna. But go win the game, focus on that, and then tweet me. And then they did, and then he did, and so then hold on, I did. You predicated on making this love connection based on the final score of the game. Yes. Is what you told the punter of the Seahawks. Yeah, you know, listen, it was it was his life's happiness and my life's happiness. Yes. But mine came first. I needed the Seahawks to go to the Super Bowl. Yes. And then when they did, I tweeted Sarah, hey, you need to date this guy. And now they're engaged and they're getting married. And it's all because of me. Do you understand? Of course. This is the dream. I want someone's wedding to be about me. Because then it's like, you know, it's like a party you don't have to pay for. Right. You know, in your honor. Now, does, did she think she was marrying Jim Gaffigan, though? Because Jim came on the program Friday and said that that is his doppelganger. No, that's Ross. Jim Gaffigan. Uh... Listen, I wouldn't talk, I wouldn't body shame, because hello. <laughs> but I mean, that's like Jim Gaffigan after a couple months of hardcore training. Yes, right? And I yeah, love yeah. Jim Gaffigan. But I mean, yeah, the face is similar. That's incredible. So well, you, you just, hooked up John Ryan the punter. You basically said punt, punt like your love life and your de depends on it, and he did. Yeah, and maybe the most talked about punter in a decade, uh -huh. you think maybe John Ryan? I mean, yeah. remember. He's uh, great. No, he's great. He's when one he of the best. he pulled out against Green Bay, do you remember that? Of course. That fake punt? The championship game, he passed it. He threw a touchdown when they needed it the most. It was a game-changing moment. Yeah. Would you? Oh, I'm here with Ross Matthews. And I'm responsible for his entire happiness. Do you understand? Do you think he's going to throw like that if he's not happy and in love? No. No. So you're welcome, Seattle. I did that. You are the 12th man. <laughs> I did that. Yes. You're the most important 12th man. Yes, thank you. Finally, someone says what we're all thinking. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so when it all comes down to it, uh, Ross Matthews, Straight Talk with Ross on Podcast One, are, are you going to speak at the wedding? At the, at the, I'm assuming I'm going to marry them. I'm assuming I'm going I'm. Are you or ordained to do such I just got ordained because I'm flying to D.C. I'm going to be doing something in D.C. Pride. This is No one knows this yet. Okay. Uh, where I'm going to be marrying a couple uh, on a float in, in D.C. Pride. So I just got ordained. So maybe I can marry them. What, what A float? What do you mean? Like a parade float? In a gay pride parade. It's a big float. Like, hello, parade. You know what I mean? With like on wheels and it moves. Sure, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be standing on it and I'm going to be, there's a couple and I'm going to be marrying them as we drive past the Supreme Supreme Court as they debate marriage equality. No, we, <laughs> How about that? Didn't think we'd be talking about that, did no, you? Listen, we we talk about a lot That's here on this That's why I love program. this show. Dross, we, we, we run the gamut here. Yeah. So this is going to be in Washington, D.C. Yeah. What is it? So you, you took a test? Is that what you did to become? No, I, like, my assistant did something online. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, see, I mean, this is the punter of the Seahawks we're talking about here. Yeah. We can't look. Let's put it this way: mm -hmm. when the Seahawks have a big game this fall, mm -hmm. this can't be just the situation for your Seahawks that the punter is found out that his marriage it doesn't count because your assistant didn't check a box no, online. I had to go to I mean, a notary. I, I went up. to a notary. Yes, sir. Okay, it's a stamped thing. I'm official, <laughs> ordained. It's happened. It's yeah. done. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to put the jeopardy of the Seahawks' future. I'm not going to risk that, okay? So mm -hmm. it's done. It's sealed. You have to understand, because I, I in, in all seriousness, take punting very seriously. Why uh, wouldn't you? I, well, a lot of people don't consider punters to be let's just, not just um, uh, viable athletes. Yeah. That's one thing. I'm just talking about people. 
They don't think punters, I have a t-shirt. You could take a look uh, for the radio audience. There is a, there a coaster, punters are people too. Let me tell that's, you something. That's why I sell t-shirts at punterserepeople2.com. If you don't think well, punters are a real deal, you know, we all go in the front yard and throw the nerf, right? We all do that. <laughs> we do. Try punting it, try it. It's gonna end up in the neighbor's yard or the neighbor's pool, mm -hmm. okay? It's hard to yeah. do. That's how, why I love punters. How did Jay Leno find you, Ross? You know, I was an intern. I always wanted to be on television. I grew up, like I said, in Mount Vernon, Washington, yeah. and I always wanted to be on television, talk to the stars, and so when I, um, after graduated high school, I like got in my car, went to college in, in Hollywood, uh, got an internship, and then he thought I was funny, and they put me on. I mean, literally, it was like, you're funny. And, did Done. you want to go cover uh, Ocean's you're, Eleven? And suddenly you're running around the Grove with a mic and a camera and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, all over. And now people? it's 14 years later, if you can believe that. Right. And uh, yeah, so I do, of course, I did Chelsea Lately. I yes. work on E, all the red carpets. And now I started this podcast and like I fell in love with it. You know what it's Well, like. look, this, this show has roots in podcasting and it's incredible how you could talk about what you wish for as long as you wish. And people love, it's an on-demand world that we live in. So yeah. people just want to listen to it whenever they want, whenever yeah. they're traveling. And it's unfiltered, and we can have real convos, uh, like you know. And and people are in need of a little uh, advice from a gay best friend. So I give it to them straight. <laughs> I hook people up all the time. I keep looking right, at you because I know you have deep there. issues that I'd like to just crack yeah, that nut. I'm going to have to come sit on your couch, and we can hash this. No, hold yes. on. Yeah. Now, now, he is a commitment foe. I can tell right away. Right. How could you tell? Right. Uh, hello? He's, he's blocking the world out. Well, let yourself be loved. I can tell just looking at you. Brockman. Always an excuse, right? How many times have I told you to let yourself be loved? Yeah. I've... <laughs> the eyes are How many times? Man's soul. How know, many times have I told you that, Chris? You don't need Ross Matthews well, to come well, on the show. Why am I so closed off, Ross? Yeah. Well, don't ask me. Ask yourself. I don't know the answers. Well, that's the problem. You need to take a good, hard look, all right? Because you're a good-looking guy. You're a successful guy. Why wouldn't people be knocking down your door? It's because you've locked it. Well, you he's... locked the door, and you don't even know where the key is. I'm don't... talking about the door to your heart. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Will you use the key to the Mount Vernon city to unlock Chris's like home? To, I don't know if it Maybe works. you finally found how... Yeah, what, what, the, let me the go to the storage use. locker where I put it. I'm going to find <laughs> that key. No, that key means so much to me. Who's your dream guest? Who do you want on your podcast you haven't had yet? Um, you know, well, I'd like Liza. Just, she's, has she been here? Liza Minnelli has not been here. Well, I'd We'd like to, to talk her. to her. And then I'd like to get uh, Lady Gaga on. She's not been here either. I feel like she and I are from the same planet, and I feel like <laughs> I could speak her language. Sure. And I don't know who the hell she is, so I'd like to figure out what a little bit. What planet is that? What planet is that? Lady Gaga. Uh, I planet don't... Gaga, I think, right? Uh, I'm like Superman, you know what I mean? I, I, it's another planet, and uh, yeah, I, and you're I, the Kal-el of podcasting. I like it. That's a Superman reference. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I picked up on we it. We call that next level, or we attempt to. At Hello Ross on Twitter, go to podcastone.com and download Straight Talk yeah. with Ross today. You can go to StraightTalkWithRoss.com. Everything is there. All okay, the episodes. Great. Check it out there. And excellent. Thanks so much for having me on. Come and back. go Seahawks. Yes. Come back. Well, come back when the season begins. How does that? Would sound? you? Because I can break it down for you. Oh, yeah. Yes. All right. I'm talking, I can break down fashion. I can break down the game. Yes. I can break down you, okay? Because I know what's going Let's on. Let's break down Brockman's <laughs> cold, beating heart. I figured you out. And I'm going to find the girl who's willing to take that challenge. Just let it go, Chris. Let it go. <laughs> what are you so afraid of? Unlock. That's, you need the act of true love to unlock his well, you frozen give me, Arendelle. Give me a hug. Yeah. Come here. That's what you need. Here we go. Let's That's how we're going to go hug. to break. This is going to play us out. The, cro bad. the Chris here. Brockman. I've just been getting killed. Come Ross here. Matthews hug. Let it go. I got it. Let it go. Don't be afraid to cry. <laughs> we're back smell with really more here. I do smell good, I don't know. I? You really do. For the radio audience, there's no describing this. Not a footprint. So Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On audience.